What lies at the universe's edge is a subject that has preoccupied people's minds for millennia as they have been fascinated by the universe's secrets. We've been trying to figure out the answer to this question for so long that we've practically given up on ever learning it. But everything has changed since the James Webb Space Telescope was launched. Recently, the JWST discovered an incredible discovery at the universe's edge that stunned the scientific community. The discovery is so important that it might completely change how we think about the universe. So what did the James Webb Space Telescope discover at the edge of the universe? What impact would it have on our understanding of the universe and its origin? You will get to know this and plenty more as we dive into the details of today's show. However, before getting started with the video officially, here's a quick reminder that you can subscribe for free and like the video so that we can boost the algorithm. Comments are most welcomed. JWST, the awaited instrument. Have you ever been in the frustrating situation of wanting to start a project but not having the right resources to do it successfully? Imagine, for instance, trying to tinker with your smartphone only to discover that you lack the specific tools required to unlock it or desperately require a flamethrower but not having access to one. Similar problems have plagued scientists for decades, particularly when trying to solve the universe's mysteries. They are interested in finding answers to various questions, including how the universe started. Unfortunately, this calls for technology that is far more advanced than anything ever made by humans. To examine some of the oldest things and structures in the cosmos, some of which have been around for billions of years, one must look at the edge of the universe. However, the James Webb Space Telescope is here to save the day, so don't give up. Marvels of JWST Scientists are in awe of the JWST, the most potent telescope ever built, and its capabilities have revealed startling new insights about the universe. It has taken us further from the edge of the universe than ever before and transported us back in time to glimpse the early universe. Now, the JWST has provided us with a photograph of a galaxy cluster and a far-off galaxy called Max 0647 JD that has delighted scientists all over the world thanks to its capacity to detect infrared radiation. The cluster appears as a glittering collection of galaxies that stand out against the background of space-like gems. Thanks to the triple lensing effect produced by gravitational lensing on the JWST, the distant galaxy that was first discovered a decade ago using the Hubble Space Telescope is now being studied in much greater detail. The JWST is expected to provide the answers to the question of whether these are two galaxies or two star clusters within a galaxy. The image has questioned everything we thought we understood about the cosmos and helped scientists better comprehend how galaxies developed in the early universe. The inventor of the telescope, Galileo Galilei, would undoubtedly be pleased with how far we have come, and the JWST has gone above and beyond by finding galaxies that are beyond even our wildest expectations and some of the most ancient galaxies ever discovered. One of the earliest galaxies to form was Glass Z12, which was discovered about 350 million years after the Big Bang. The JWST also discovered a second galaxy that had formed 450 million years ago after the Great Bang specifically to avoid Glass Z12. A mere 400 million years after the Big Bang in 2016, the Hubble Space Telescope detected GNZ11, the oldest galaxy ever discovered. Scientists were astounded to learn that there were even more galaxies in the universe than they had anticipated as they combed through the data gathered by the JWST. The JWST provided us with a front row seat to all of it allowing us to gain a deeper understanding of the beginnings of our universe. It appears that the cosmos produced galaxies at a rate that was unprecedented, quicker and earlier than experts had anticipated. Despite being smaller than the Milky Way, both Glass Z12 and the other galaxy are incredibly bright and produce stars at an astounding rate. Galaxies may have begun to arise as soon as 100 million years after the Big Bang, contradicting earlier assumptions about how and when the first galaxies originated. The biggest puzzle, though, is how these ancient galaxies kept their sense of order amid the upheaval of the early universe. Although the universe was a chaotic and crowded place, Glass Z12 and its companion were surprisingly calm and organized. Sears 933-16 Now you might feel as though the two far objects mentioned earlier have sufficiently impressed you, but there is still more to marvel at, such as the Sears 933-16 Galaxy Candidate. This item made history by setting a record redshift of Z equals 16.7, forming a whopping 250 million years after the Great Bang. Cosmic Evolution Early Release Science Survey, or SEERS, is a unique program created especially for JWST imaging. Scientists still describe it as a galaxy candidate because they are still in the process of using spectroscopy to confirm the redshift. 
However, the study has already ruled out the possibility that Sears 93316 is a low-mass star or an unobstructed active galactic nucleus based on imaging data from the JWST's primary imager, the NIRCAM. What's particularly interesting is that these observations take us back to the Dark Ages before any of the stars we see today even existed, when it was assumed that the universe's initial galaxies were considered to be forming. According to NASA, the JWST is capable of finding galaxies at redshifts higher than 20, or at a time fewer than 200 million years after the Big Bang. These galaxies will undoubtedly be incredibly difficult to find, but thanks to the discovery of Sears 93316, scientists are encouraged that they might exist. This is what makes the Sears 93316 discovery such a game changer. It creates a whole new world of opportunities for what else we might learn about the universe. A new discovery. A bell? 2744Y1 is a galaxy located at the very frontier of the universe that has scientists humming with excitement. This amazing galaxy is noteworthy for a variety of reasons. One of them is that it is so far away from us that it takes the universe, which is thought to be 13.8 billion years old, an astounding 13 billion years to send light to us. Abel 2744Y1 is also being observed in its pre-650 million year state. Don't let this galaxy's youth deceive you if it is a power to be feared. It was found using three extremely powerful telescopes, the Spitzer, Chandra, and Hubble, which cooperate to gather data from different light wavelengths. This made it possible for astronomers to observe galaxies that were up to 100 times farther away than they could have been using only one of the observatories. To obtain a picture of a Bell 277 y one the scientists also employed gravitational lensing, a process foreseen by none other than Albert Einstein. How big is the galaxy then? Despite being smaller than our own Milky Way galaxy by a factor of 50, it more than makes up for this with an incredible rate of star formation. In fact, compared to the Milky Way, which is a representative of young universe galaxies, it produces stars at a rate 10 times quicker. The investigation of this amazing galaxy will most doubt keep researchers busy for many years to come. Imagine trying to estimate the cosmos's vastness. Scientists have tried it and have found that the observable universe has a staggering radius of 46.1 billion light years. However, based on that what we can measure of our observable universe and the laws of physics we are aware of, we know there is much more out there than what is visible. According to observations, the biggest scales of the cosmos are spatially flat. This indicates that has an exceptional precision of 0.25% and is neither positively or negatively bent. We may infer the extent of the universe beyond the observable region by using this knowledge along with the best data from sources like the Sloan Digital Sky Survey and the Planck Satellite. The unobservable portion of the cosmos must be at least 23 trillion light years in diameter and contain more than 15 million times the volume we can observe if the universe does curve back in on itself and close. The unobservable universe, according to some scientists, ought to be even larger as the hot Big Bang might not have actually created space and time, but rather only the observable universe. This is due to the fact that prior to the Big Bang, the cosmos experienced a period of cosmic expansion. During this time, the universe was made up of a space-based energy rather than matter and radiation. The lowest physical length scale, the Planck flank, would be stretched to an extent of the currently observable universe every 10 raised to the power of negative 32 seconds due to the expansion's constant exponential rate, which created new space so swiftly. There are still three important unsolved questions that directly impact the size of our universe, despite the fact that inflation has ended in our part of the world. These queries revolve around the possibility of an infinite universe. They are specifically interested in the size of the post-inflationary region of the cosmos that gave rise to the hot Big Bang. Two is the concept of perpetual inflation according to which, in some areas, the cosmos expands indefinitely into the future. True? And three, how long did inflation last before it came to an end? and the hot huge bang that followed. While it's possible that the universe where inflation took place barely grew to a size larger than what we can see, there's also a chance that proof of an inflationary edge will eventually emerge. It's also plausible that there are many more universes out there that are identical to ours in terms of physical structure and adherence to the same physics as ours. This opens the intriguing possibility that complex life could exist on one of the countless other worlds in the universe. Additionally, the bubble in which inflation ended should have a finite size on a scale, with an exponentially large number of such bubbles contained within the larger expanding space-time. We approach GNZ 11, the furthest galaxy ever seen by humans, after traveling to the outer extremities of the cosmos. An astounding 32 billion light-years separate our world from this celestial beauty. 
At the surface of the last scattering, we are a staggering 46 billion light years distant from Earth, if we take the expansion of space into consideration. After recombination and photon decoupling, the first cosmic microwave background radiation photons appeared in this region. It is, in a sense, the edge of the cosmos and the site of the first light scattering. It designates the edge of the observable universe, representing the limit of what we can see. With that, we have reached the end of today's show. What do you have in mind about the above still unanswered question? Do let us know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up. It will help us to understand our audience and allows YouTube to suggest similar videos to you. Thanks for watching and we hope to see you at the next one.